How to turn depression around, how to handle depression, or how to turn mourning into mourning. M-O-R-N-I-N-G. This is Bess McCarty from Victoria, Kansas, and this is the Ask Bess Show. I'm here to share with you, uh, um, respond to your questions that you ask. You can ask me anything about health, wealth, love, um, anything goes. You can private message me and I'll respond on these shows. Um, so the topic today is how to handle depression, how to deal with depression. Um, when this pandemic happened and the isolation orders came around, I obeyed them and stayed in, stayed home. Um, and the, you know, to, to confess, the, the introvert in me said, all right, forced isolation, you know, I'd get to get all my things done. I'm an entrepreneur, I want to get all these things done too. But then this unexpected, heavy, heavy feeling came over me. Like I could, my physical energy and my mental focus was about half and I only got about half the things done that I wanted to do. Uh, but then I realized that, you know, be gentle on myself, have compassion for myself because I was going through a whole lot of loss and so were a lot of other people. You know, we lost, um, some people lost loved ones, some lost their health, some feared for their health, some uh, I canceled three three trips I was going to take. Some people lost their graduation, their weddings. I had to delay these things. Um, some people um, had much grief over the protests that are going on with um, and and the the violence with black folks. And so there's there's been a lot of we've lost our certainty. We've lost our safety. We've lost the familiar. And for me, I missed hugging my family. <laughs> and doing my, my regular work. So first of all, it, it's normal that these things uh, might happen. And second of all, I have, since the restrictions are easing and I'm hearing from people what how they've, how they've navigated through this, I'm finding there's been a lot of reinvention, a lot of renewal, people um, starting and creating new business ventures that they wouldn't have otherwise. People. Um, changing all over the place, sometimes for the best uh, to serve people in better ways that they that they um, hadn't thought of before. So I'm finding a lot of creativity, reinvention, bursting, and a whole lot of people are having better businesses than they ever, ever have. So they're turning this um, S-H-I-T into the, the, this, this horse poop into manure to fertilize gardens. And a lot of people's gardens are blooming right now as well including mine. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a kind of a renewal. And could this have happened without the pandemic? No. The things that I've realized, like how much I value um, people now, how much I value touch, hug, doing the massage that I do for people, how much of a touch person I am and how much it nourishes us couldn't have happened if I hadn't have, had stopped doing all this, stopped hugging people even for about three months. So um, when it looks like, I found that when it looks like the negative forces are in charge, I see how the positive forces were simply using those to create better, a better life and a better future for people. So this is what I've been observing happening and how I've observed this all my life too. I do have some tips for dealing with depression, a six tips for people who are dealing with that. And mine was minor, my depression was minor compared to people who, who experience it long range or deeper or you know disabling uh, effects of depression. So my empathy, but these tips may help all of us, whether it's mild or whether it's, it's very deep. The number one is to, to recognize the signs of depression. And that could be, for me in my case, I didn't feel like doing anything, but in other cases, it could be addictive behavior, like you know being addicted to our apps. <laughs> Or it could be um, over or doing over or under doing anything, including eating, sleeping, um, emotions, being too sensitive to emotions, or being too dead to emotions. All of these signs could be signs of, of depression. So number one step is that we recognize it. Number two step for me is that we have compassion for it. We do not judge ourselves. If I'd been hard on myself, it just made it worse. You know, I would have run the other way and sunk more into the the, um, the heart opening movies that I wanted to watch, I would have, instead of doing my work, you know, I would have run the other way. If I would have been hard on myself, that would have made it worse. So we want to have compassion 
and understand, yes, I'm going through loss and be gentle with ourselves, just like after somebody passes away. Uh, number three, we can find out what's what we need because every problem is really the sign of an unmet need. So what is needed here? It might be different for every person every time. Could be faith, family, to read a good inspirational book, um, music, uh, taking a walk, breathing, getting in nature. We know that when we breathe, as a body-mind therapist, we know I know that when we breathe, when we begin to move our bodies, it also begins to move our emotions. It begins to get movement going. The blood starts pumping. The lymph, the breath, you know, the nervous system wakes up. All these things change to begin to move the emotion that we felt we were stuck with. Now, there's this Chinese couple who discovered that dancing cured the husband's depression after he had a major car accident. And uh, they were, she, the wife was worried about him and got him to learn some basic moves of a simple shuffle. And they've been dancing ever since. They look, and that when you see them on YouTube, they're so happy. And they, you know, inadvertently found out that this was a magical cure for his depression. When he's dancing, he, he just is totally with it and totally happy and totally in the moment. So it's a wonderful cure. Number four a tip for dealing with depression is when you can't get stuff done, at least prioritize the major things that are most urgent or would cost you the greatest to put them off and do those things first. I call that prioritizing the, the most urgent uh, deadlines so that your, your bills do get paid or um, you know, the most um, costly uh, things are, are taken care of first. Uh, number five, uh, and if you can't do these things, you'll know, get help. If you absolutely can't get to the store or pay a bill, if you're so debilitated, you know, get some help with that so that, that so that these you can take care of yourself that way. Ask for help. Number five is do the easiest things first. Of all the things on my to-do list after the urgent things, I would pick the easiest thing because just doing that thing, then I start changing and feeling good, and then I start feeling like, oh, maybe I can do one more. Or if a task is too big, like exercise for 30 minutes a day, you know, if that's too big, well, I, I just can't get myself to do that. That maybe I could do five, maybe I could do 10, and I start feeling good for that. Maybe I can do a little more, you know? Instead of walking around the block, maybe, let me just walk to the mailbox and back. Oh, it feels good to be outside. You know, maybe I'll take, walk to the end of the block, you know? And then sort of entice ourselves, trick ourselves into doing just a little bit more. Number six and final tip is, except when the depression wins because sometimes it will and and that's okay ride with it again have that compassion and try different next time try again tomorrow i hope that these tips help to have compassion for yourself and for others i certainly have compassion more for people who feel stuck than i did before because i hadn't really experienced much of that except after a loved one died and uh, this time no one had. I thought, why am I feeling depressed? Now I understand. You know, it's a loss. We were grieving. Or maybe we still are. Life as we knew it. But have hope because there's good things ahead, I guarantee. Uh, when we embrace and learn from the lesson and say, what is life trying to teach me? How is it trying to make me a better person now that it couldn't have been any other way? And we use this as a stepping stone. I am Bess McCarty. I do private coaching for people and also run a school for network marketers. I do have some self free self-help tools for you I'll put below. You can also find them at bestmccarty.com slash real. That's for real conversations with ourselves. This is my life work to help people with this. bestmccarty.com slash real. I'll post the link below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Please private message me any questions you might like me to address on the Ask Best Show. Everybody take care and I love you. Bye-bye.